Hi, my name is Jake Farrow with the ESPN Top 10 Plays, and here's number one, Tahada going out of here. The fan makes a great catch, but then they're just throwing it back, not to the left fielder. Oh, all the way home to the Giants' dugout. Wow, that fan is talented. How often do you see that? <laughs> and Tahada keeps the ball. And here's number nine, Jason Bay, for Grand Slam. What a great day for the Mets. That was a good game. And Carlos Beltran later that day goes deep for four more. And wow, what a what a couple of games the Mets have been putting up lately. And it hit up the middle, knocks his glove out, and Maurer is still out at first by a landslide. And wow, impressive move right there. And there it is. Short hop, bare hands it, makes the play at first, gets him out by maybe an inch. Look at that. Was he safe? No, he had him. Great play. And there's a bunt there. Gets the glove flip, no hand needed. The easy glove flip. And wow. What a play there. I mean, how often do you see that? Number five. Throws it. A diving play by the shortstop. Throws the first and gets the out. What a play. I mean, honestly. I bet no one can do that. And wow. Josh Hamilton. And his story is a good one. Making it to the pros and being one of the best. And college World Series and center fielder makes the play and South Carolina takes it home again. And pop out Rockies. It's in the gap. He's going to do a Witzke rounding third. He throws it home. Not in time. He is safe at home, and the Rockies won the game. And the best play of the week, here it is. It looks like it's going to be over. Not! Luke Scott! Wow! Luke Scott, one of the last people you'd expect to do that, but no one's ever seen anything like that out of him. And what a play by Luke Scott. This has been the Top Ten. I'm Jacob Farrow. Good night.